back to my channel yeah. hey guys welcome back to my channel oh my gosh i feel like it has been literally forever since i have sat in front of the camera because i've been i've been doing a lot i've been doing a lot lately that has been pulling me away from my youtube duties i got a new job i got a new house i just i just been acting real brand new lately but you know you know what what does drake say the the new me is the old me something i don't really know today i am coming to you guys with a another hair video because i feel like it's been a minute since i've done like um a wash day tutorial so i'm showing you guys my updated wash day routine because my hair has grown out quite a bit since my last one this is going to be a two-part video the first part is just going to be me showing you guys the wash day and then the second part is going to be me showing you guys how i style my hair after i'm done washing it so it is literally wash day start to finish we ain't missing a beat Ew. so before we get into the video if you have not already subscribed What, what you doing there's a huge red button that you know it's meant to hit hit it yeah make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell give this video a thumbs up if you like it because it is free 99 it costs you nothing at all and also comment down below and let me know what other videos you guys want me to make through the end of the year whether that be hair videos or non hair videos i will see you guys in part two of this video um but until then just enjoy this video all right peace see you next time okay so as you can see i am starting off with really dry and crusty hair so i'm just gonna spritz some water on my hair just to get it a little damp not too wet um, just so that it's malleable and easy to manipulate so i'm just gonna massage that in and then i'm gonna start to separate my hair into smaller sections because i am gonna pre-poo and i don't pre-poo on you know one big afro i like to section it off so i just section my hair into four smaller sections on each side. So in total, I will have eight sections because four times two sides of my head equals eight sections. Okay, I'm, I'm, I look so cute, I know. <laughs> not, not really. Um, but anyway, so after I'm done sectioning off my hair, then I start to detangle and sort of pre-poo each one of those sections so first i'll just apply some water and start removing any shed hairs any you know tangles or knots and stuff like that with my fingers and i try to do it gently but you know i can be a little heavy-handed so that's something i need to work on and then i take my favorite oil in the entire world almond oil and i apply that to the section and when i tell you guys almond oil makes your hair so easy to detangle like almond oil is the answer to life if you want like soft skin if you want soft hair literally almond oil is your answer to life then i'm gonna put some conditioner in my hair and i'm using the tea tree tingle conditioner from trader joe's i am trying to <laughs> trying to be a little bit more conscious of the stuff that i put in my hair and make sure that um at least most of the ingredients in my products are sort of natural or just ingredients where i know what the heck they are so after i applied that to my section i finger detangled just a little bit more and then i'm twisting that section up my hair is not long enough to twist the entire section into one twist so i separate it into two or three twists however many i need to be able to twist it up yeah And then after that, I just move on to the next section and do that with all the sections first, spritzing some water on it, getting out any shed hairs, any huge tangles, then applying that almond oil, AKA answer to life, and finger detangling some more, getting out those tangles and knots, 
gently and thoroughly. And if you come across any tangles, just make sure that you are very gentle with them. And then taking my conditioner and applying that to the section as well, still finger detangling. Detangling, that's a really weird word, detangling, detangling. Anyways, then I twist the section up as you can see here in exhibit A, the video. I work on the perimeter sections first and then I go to those middle sections because my crown is very susceptible to breakage. I like to just give that section a little TLC, add a little extra almond oil, a little extra conditioner and really make sure that I thoroughly detangle that section. And yeah, just give it a little extra TLC because I prefer my hair not to break in my crown. And then I add a little bit of conditioner to my edges because you know, you can't forget your edges in your nape. They need love too. So I'm just rub, rub, rubbing that on in. Rub, rub, rub those edges, massage those edges, massage that nape. And then I just tie my hair up into six sections, three on each side and apply a plastic bag. And after that, I apply my 100% cotton t-shirt. And this is the hair that I shed um, along with some other stuff that got caught in it from my floor. So after 15 minutes, I am ready to start shampooing my hair. So this is what my hair looks like after the pre-poo. It's super soft, like ridiculously soft. So I just take out those sections and let my twists sort of hang low. Do your twists hang low? Do they wobble when you flow? I don't, I don't know. Anyways. Uh, then I just start to wash out that pre-poo mix, that almond oil and the conditioner, and I'm just going to rinse it until the water sort of runs clear. I'm just so happy I have hang time, like you guys don't understand. So then I take my favorite shampoo, it is Design, Design Essentials Naturals Almond something or the other, I don't really, I'll leave it in the description. Um, but I take that shampoo and I focus it really on my scalp, um, just to make sure that my scalp is super clean, super squeaky clean. And then I'm going to take my scalp massage brush and massage my scalp. And this really helps if you have dandruff. I don't have bad dandruff, but if you do have bad dandruff, this does really help with getting out um, and eliminating really bad dandruff. And it also, of course, stimulates your scalp as well. So once I'm done with my massage brush, then I put my ouchless bands back in my hair to section my hair off. And then section by section, I just sort of run that shampoo down my hair shaft. I am someone who does like to get a really good wash because I do put like oil and stuff on my hair throughout the week. So to make sure that I'm getting all of those oils off of my hair and all that buildup off so that when I deep condition, that deep conditioner can really, really penetrate my hair shafts and you know, just get my hair nice and soft and moisturized. Okay, so once I am done working my shampoo through each of my sections, then I go back in each of those sections and rinse the shampoo out. And oh my gosh, can you see? Like, I legit have hang time now. I am quite impressed, if I may say so myself. Um, but yeah, I just wash it thoroughly, make sure I'm getting my roots to get all of that shampoo out. And yeah, this is just, you know, me washing the shampoo out. Nothing too, you know, major or anything like that. And then I just tie that section back up and move on to the next section. And I would have used hair clips to kind of section my hair off, but since I'm in the middle of a move, I couldn't really find my hair clips until 
weeks later <laughs> after I finished washing my hair. So that's why I'm not using hair clips and I'm using hair bows or like scrunchies because I couldn't find my hair clips. But ideally, I would have used hair clips. Okay, so once I'm done washing each of those sections free of shampoo, then I just go back and do a final rinse to make sure I have all of that shampoo out and I move on to deep conditioning. So this is a new deep conditioner that I've been using, the TGIN Honey Hair Mask something. Um, not necessarily a big fan of the smell, but when I tell y'all this stuff makes my hair so soft. Like I'm a creature of habit and I like to stick to conditioners I know, but when I tried this one, I'm just like, this is gonna become a part of my stash. Anyways, that was long-winded. Then I apply the deep conditioner to each section and I really like to get literally each and every strand in that section. I take a lot of deep conditioner and I basically apply it. You know how you used to apply a perm where it's like you apply layer by layer. That's how I do it with my deep conditioner because I want to make sure that I'm getting every single strand so that all of my hair is nice and moisturized and just soft and just everything when I'm done deep conditioning. So once I'm done applying the deep conditioner to that section, then I'll go ahead and twist that section on up and move to the next section. All right, so once I am done applying deep conditioner to all of my hair, then I go ahead and take that same plastic bag and that <laughs> same cotton t-shirt and put that <laughs> on my head to deep condition. And normally I would use my steamer, but again, I'm in the middle of a move. I, 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 I couldn't do it. So this is gonna be my deep conditioning and I keep it on for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I take off the t-shirt and I guess sing a little bit and then take off the plastic bag and my hair literally feels like clouds or a down feather pillow. A down feather pillow and comforter. Actually just a down feather like mattress, even though I don't know if they make those. Anyways, then I just rinse the conditioner out of my hair. I don't take the twist out or anything. I just thoroughly rinse until I see that the water is running clear. And also, I do do a cool water rinse. I don't do cold water because your girl ain't about that life. But I do a cool water rinse to close the cuticles and really make sure that I am trapping all that moisture into my hair strands. And yeah, this is what my hair looks like when it is all nice and fresh and clean, clean. Um, also, this is my hair with no product on it, if you care to know what that looked like. Um, but yeah, my hair is super soft, super clean, and I'm ready to move on to the styling phase. So once I'm done washing my hair, I will throw the cotton t-shirt back onto my hair and let my hair dry for about 10 to 30 to 60 to 90 minutes sometimes um, before I start styling. And this is what my hair looks like after I styled it. If you want to see how I achieved this look, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be uploading this video on how I styled it very soon. So see you in that video. Peace.